Hi, this is Mad Pistol, and I'm here with a redstone tutorial. One of the things I've been trying to figure out lately is try to uh, figure out how to create a a, a door with uh, two levers, one on each side, both of which are able to open and close the door independently. And uh, at first, I thought it was going to be really simple: just line each of the each of the switches to each of the levers. Well, the thing I learned about redstone very quickly is if you turn one switch on, they are both on. If you turn, in order to turn it off, they have to both be off. So that kind of defeated the theory. Uh, I, if I had turned one on, the door wouldn't close from the other side. So I had to come up with something creative. But that one opens on that side. So technically they should both be on at this point, but it still closes. Open, and go back through, I can close it again. Open, close. Now, here's where the trick comes in. If I were to go in from the other side, like this, I can still open it. So, and creating a switch for that is complex. You have to actually have you have to actually have two different uh, switches in order to be able to do it on each set of doors, and that's uh, one of the things that kind of eluded me at first. So. I, I did find a way to do it, and that's kind of what this tutorial is, to show you how to do it. It is complex, but uh, I haven't found another video out there to show you how to do it. So let's go start doing it. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need some pistons, and you're going to need some switches. Both switches have to be spaced far apart, and I'll explain why you have to space it that far apart uh, to start out with. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to build two uh, two redstone uh, actuators here just like that and uh, we have to do this because if we don't do it like this it will it won't work properly and I figured that out um, very quickly you have to actually build two uh, in order to get it to work properly if you don't believe me uh, try it with just one so there you go all right, so now we've got two built. So now it's our job to line these switches. So I'm going to show you how to do it. First, we're going to line one side and then the other, and then we're going to cross them. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to line from this one. We're going to go first to the nearest one, just like that. There we go. So now we're lined with it. So we can turn it on and off. So that's going to turn that off. If I go turn it back on, it is now on. Okay, so that one works. Now. If I do the same thing to this one right here, they're going to both turn on and off at the same time. We can't have that. We have to have a bridge in between them. So we're going to create such a bridge uh, by doing this. We're going to actually put down another redstone torch, just like that. And so that now, when one is on, the other one is off. So now it's going to work redundantly. It's not going to open or close. And I'll get to that, why we have to do that first. So let's go do that on the other side now. Let's see. I'm going to bring it out a little bit. Do that one first. I'm going to go to the next one. We're going to line this one just like this. Oops. I need to actually leave some space because if I don't, not going to work. All right, so this one is also working redundantly. Just like that, won't open, won't close. So we've now got that done. Okay, now we have to cross over uh, from one side to the other. Let's go ahead and do that. And for the, the sake of time, uh, I'll make it neat. There we go. I am using 1.8 because of that. Each time I double tap, it uh, it makes me want to sprint. It's kind of annoying. Okay, let's see. So now what we have to do is we can hook this one directly up to there. But the other one, we now have to do the same thing we did before and create a redundant line. So... Let's go ahead and do this. I'm probably talking gibberish. I apologize. So now in order to get this to work correctly, we have to actually run it underneath. Let's go ahead and do this. And there 
there we go. Now, as you see, the door is now open. So as soon as I click that, now I've got full control of it. So it's hard to explain why that happens, but the easy answer is when one switch is on, the other one is off. So, and that's the whole point of this, is to be able to, whenever you turn one switch off, it defeats the other one. So you've actually got, uh, both switches are running into all four. So let's go ahead and line it for the other one. Let's see, so we need to... We're going to run this one straight in. Nope. Let's see. Oh, I made a big boo-boo. Uh, how are we going to make this? Let me set time. Okay. Let's go ahead and just, uh, for the sake of time, let's just go ahead and run it in like this. Alright, now we're going to run the other one. Just like that. Um, yeah, Pyro's playing uh, Oblivion in the background. Uh, it's cool. Let's see. I apologize for me being slow. I have to think here uh, a little bit about this. All right, now we're gonna go under. So we're gonna do it like that. Whoops. <sighs> Sorry, diamond. There we go. Aha! Here we are. So if I did this right... There we go. The doors are now open. So, if I click this one, they both close. And they both open. Just like that. So, leave that one open, go through the door. Ooh, I need to build a... There we go. And they both open and close. So there you have it. Let me explain each of the sides to you. Um, so you've got the first line going directly into the uh, redstone actuator here on the door. The second one, you have to make it redundant. So when this one is on, the other one has to be off. So that's why you put the redstone torch in here. That now makes it off while the other one is on. If you just leave it like that, it doesn't do anything. You have to put a second switch on it, where it is just the opposite. So you have the same line running right here, going into this one. Now it's the opposite. So it only it goes. It's a running. We're running a direct line into the second actuator. Then you've got the the first act. Uh, the first switch is running into second actuator too, but it's opposite. So that way, it's always on or off, and it's always opposite. Then we have to do the same thing with the other one. So now we've got the second switch right here running into the uh, second servo over there, second actuator, and it is opposite as well. So we put in a redstone torch to to make it opposite. Run it through, and so there you go. So now as you can see, the doors are open. Oops. One is always on and one is always off. So we hit that. Now look at how it changed. Now all of them on one is on and all of them on the other one is off. Click that. Now they are all off. It's a very difficult thing to explain, but I hope you're kind of getting a picture of how to do this. Come to the other side. Same thing again. One is on, one is off. You can notice little subtle patterns uh, from this design if you look really closely. Anyway, all right, well, I think that about wraps it up. Uh, if you have any questions about this, please feel free to uh, send me a message, and uh, I'll be glad to help you. It is somewhat uh, tricky to do at first, uh, and it actually th the more complicated thing is actually... Uh, running it correctly so it doesn't take up a lot of space. I'm currently trying to find ways to run it underground, maybe three or four deep, so that, that way it doesn't uh, take up a massive amount of space to the right and left of the doors, but uh, that's proving to be difficult. So anyway, but uh, 
So this is Mad Pistol. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, please feel free to PM me. And that's it.